Get into this driving business if you want to pursue a woman or if you have some sexual frustrations that you believe you can let out in your car. Don't even go there. It's an Uber driver charged with kidnapping a woman he picked up on a Boston street. Good evening, I'm Sean Chayabai. And I'm Nathalie Pozo. The woman made a quick escape after the driver locked her in the back seat. She tells Boston police 47-year-old Kamal Esalak was acting oddly when she got into his car along this stretch of Com Ave on Thursday night. Police say she tried to open her door to get out but couldn't because the child's safety locks were on. The driver is then accused of hopping into the back seat with the woman as she Seriously? screamed for help. She was able to slide around him and escape through the driver's door. Uber releasing a statement saying, in part, what's been reported is horrifying and something no one should have to go through. As soon as we became aware, we immediately removed this driver's access to Uber. That's a lock is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow in Brighton District Court. So, obviously, Uber is running background checks on drivers. Um, this probably doesn't show up, right? But if there's any tainted past, the driver's normally not on the platform. If his head has, if he's had any predatorial past in the in the in the uh, past, um, obviously they're not going to be able to drive on the platform. But woman getting into the car, position yourself um, right behind the driver in the back seat, right? And uh, keep a low profile if you feel uneasy. And if you need to end the trip because something seems wrong, you know, just tell the driver, you know what, sorry, uh, let me out at that gas station over there. Um, I'm actually going to be meeting some friends or so, right? So you want to you get out of that car. You want to get out of that car if you don't feel uh, right. And uh, drivers that are looking for a quick, easy, cheap trick, I mean, this is happening daily, daily in the gig world, right? Assaults, rapes, murders, stabbings, hijackings. And um, surely the gig companies could put more money into this and come up with ways to slow this down. Your feedback is much appreciated.